Chapter 3111 The Lecherous Wuji When Long Chen was sent to the martial stage, countless cheers rang out. Long Chen's reputation preceded him now. They were all full of anticipation to see him fight. As for his opponent, it was a white-robed man. Looking at Long Chen, he smiled bitterly. Ah, uh, whatever. Brother Long is one of the people I admire the most. I admit defeat in this battle. That person sighed and directly admitted defeat. The only reason he had gone onto the stage was to greet Long Chen, or perhaps he had had an urge to fight before, but upon seeing Long Chen, he gave up. Long Chen cupped his fists toward that person to express his thanks. This person was an expert. If they were to fight all out, Long Chen would need some effort to beat him. He might even need to expose some trump cards. So Long Chen had accepted a favor from this person. Long Chen passed easily, leaving others disappointed. But there was no way around it. The terrifying power that Long Chen had displayed against Chu Gong had intimidated his competitors. If they fought Long Chen and forced him to reveal his trump cards, then he might just kill them. While ranking was important, their lives were more important. Everyone had their own goals, and there was no need to be so reckless in this competition. After all, this round wasn't even for deciding the top hundred. Hence, the good star to the show didn't appear. Long Chen passed just like this. The second round then started, and it was much more intense. Both fighters were primals who were power types, and they instantly started a fierce fight. After hundreds of exchanges, one of them finally admitted defeat, but Long Chen and the other shook their heads. The two of them were so evenly matched that they were forced to unleash all their trump cards. The winner had even ignited their essence blood to obtain victory. After this victory, they probably wouldn't recover in time. There was no chance that they would win the next round, so doing this wasn't entirely worth it. The third round started. Unexpectedly, one of them was Gui Yun, but his opponent admitted defeat before they were even sent onto the stage. I asked around, that deadly fatty Gui Yun and the giant Ku Wuaya didn't even have to fight once, anyone matched against them directly admitted defeat. Who would have thought that no one would dare to fight them even at this stage, said Lu Mingxuan. It's so exaggerated, then they're on track to win just by lying down, said Bai Ziyol. The elders have probably warned their disciples to avoid those two, however, they won't be able to be so relaxed for long. When they encounter real experts, they'll be competing with their real power, not fame, said Long Chen. The competition continued. According to the rules, they had to finish their fight within one incense stick's worth of time, or both of them were eliminated. That was a short time. True experts that were evenly matched had difficulty deciding a winner in that short time. Some people even felt that their chances of winning in that short time were too low, or that paying a huge price to win wasn't worth it, so they admitted defeat. Hence, the competition progressed quickly. Over ten fights ended in less than an hour but the next clash caused an uproar. There was a shameless fellow who was clearly a level weaker than his opponent, but because he was an earth element expert who countered his opponent, he managed to stall him for a long time. Midway through the fight, he actually demanded some profit for him to admit defeat, or they would both be eliminated. In the end, his opponent gave him 30,000 immortal crystals and two top-grade spirit items before that person was satisfied and admitted defeat. As expected, there are all kinds of people. Even a grand primal can be so shameless, Luo Ning shook her head. Her eyes had been open to the world. The main thing was that both of them were truly shameless. One was willing to be bought, and one was willing to buy. Neither was better than the other. However, there was no rule against this. It could be said that the two of them had grasped a loophole. Although they were looked down upon, they were still willing. Quick, look, it's young Master Wuji exclaimed Liu Mingxuan. That bastard, he actually managed to make it here, Luo Bing and the others greatly detested this person, they hadn't expected him to get into the top 500. As for his opponent, it was a woman with a sword on her back, young master Wu Ji smiled sinisterly when he saw his opponent. Young lady, you're not a match for me, you should just give up and do will cultivate with me, we can rise to the immortal realm and reach the realm of perfection together. Young Master Wu Ji smiled, a perverted look in his eyes. Die, his opponent was enraged, and her manifestation appeared behind her. 
she instantly activated her primal bloodline and slashed her sword at him. She was shockingly fast. As a result, young Master Wuji was unable to dodge in time and was cut in two, stunning everyone. A puppet art, Long Chen curled his lips. Just as he said this, Luo Bing and the others realized that this woman had slain a puppet, not young Master Wuji. The puppet exploded, and a burst of fragrance filled a stage, causing his opponent's expression to change. She hastily fell back, but just as she moved, she found that her body was stiff. A hand then caught the back of her neck. Young lady, you're too naive. You fell for it so easily. Shouldn't you beg this young master for mercy now? As long as you agree to be my slave, this young master will treat you properly. Ha ha ha. Zhao Wuji was surrounded by mist, hidden in it. At this moment, runes flow down his hand, covering her body. Those runes were like vipers coiling around her body. Young Master Wuji was extremely sinister. Those runes were squeezing her body, forcibly exposing her curves. It was a clear humiliation. She wanted to struggle, but her gaze became sluggish. The puppet that she had slain contained poison, and she had fallen for it. Hence, she felt a mix of panic and anger. Keep struggling. I like seeing such pure women struggling. The more you struggle, the more excited I get, young Master Wuji smiled lecherously and even kissed her cheek. Bastard. Shameless. I'll kill him right now. Seeing him act like this and humiliate a primal, countless people were enraged. Promise to duel cultivate with me, and I'll spare your life. Otherwise, he, young Master Wuji ignored those curses, seemingly fearless. Die. The woman suddenly choked out a furious cry and a rune lit up on her forehead. Seeing this, young Master Wuji's expression completely changed, and he hastily pushed her away. Boom! Her body then exploded, and it filled the stage with blood mist. She had chosen to self-detonate. Chapter 3112 The Zither Sex Expert that woman was so unyielding that she chose to self-detonate. Young Master Wuji had never expected such a thing. Despite having pushed her away immediately, the resulting explosion still left him bloodied. Half his body was a mess. Courting death, infuriated, he suddenly formed ant seals. After that, divine light flowed out of his forehead. He was summoning a layer of flames around the martial stage. This bastard. When they saw that, everyone's fury soared. That woman was already dead, but young Master Wuji was using a spiritual flame to incinerate the remnants of her soul so that she wouldn't enter the reincarnation cycle. She would fully vanish from this world. If I encounter him, I'll make him suffer a life worse than death. He'll regret being born in this world. Young Master Chang Chuan clenched his teeth. The two of them had no enmity, and yet young Master Wuji had not just forced that woman to kill herself but he had even refused to give her a chance to enter the cycle of reincarnation. Young Master Wuji, HMPH, does he really think he can be so unbridled? Long Chen's expression was dark. He had no relationship with that woman, and although in the past he would be angered by this, it would not have reached the point where he struggled to stop himself from charging onto the stage and killing him right this instant. I really can't hold myself back. Like an inflated ball, I'll pop with just a touch. This desire to kill will devour my mind. A vein throbbed on Long Chen's forehead. His face was shockingly dark. Just like what that dragon expert had said, this dark power could not be bottled up forever. The more it was, the more its power grew. Young Master Wu Ji won, but he was attacked by a rain of curses. The entire arena was chaos. However, young Master Wuji ignored those curses, appearing particularly fearless. The competition then continued. When it was Bai Shishi's turn, she only defended. Her opponent unleashed all their techniques but was unable to shake her defenses, so they ultimately gave up. After Bai Shishi's turn, the sky started to darken. Just as Long Chen thought that they wouldn't get their turn today, it was Bai Ziyol's turn. Bai Ziyol was delighted and prepared to slaughter Chu Ren just as Long Chen had taught him, only for Chu Ren to directly admit defeat. What? Bai Ziyol was dumbfounded. Did they eavesdrop on us? wondered Liu Mingxuan. Long Chen shook his head. 
It seems that their merger technique is not all that powerful. Perhaps it has some limits. That means Xiaol isn't their goal. Chu Ren admitted defeat, but the Chu family still has two others. They must have absolute confidence in them. Moreover, they definitely have an understanding of Xiaol's three flower pupils and don't want to take the risk of exposing their trump card. They probably want to find the best chance to unleash their power on their target. Their goal isn't for ranking but one of us. If it's one of us, then it's probably Bosch or Fairy Shishi, said Chin Feng. Although the Luo family was mortal enemies with the Chu family, it was Long Chen who had repeatedly ruined the Chu family's plans in the academy. He had killed Chu Kuang and Chu Yang, two competitors for the family head position. In the Jilin Immortal Land, he had wrecked their plan, and then the Chu family's forces in the academy were ripped out. When it came to who they hated the most, it was probably Long Chen who won out. As for Bai Shishi, she was also an important target. In comparison to the two of them, Luo Xue didn't seem like such a target. Just at this moment, the sound of a zither rang out. It was like the music of the Grand Dao was directly piercing people's souls. Long Chen and the others were startled and hastily focused on the martial stage. At some point, two new people appeared. One of them was the zither woman. She sat in the air, her zither resting across her knees. At this moment, her hands moved across her zither, and a ray of light flew out of a string, tearing through the void. Her opponent was a man with a wolf tooth club. His manifestation appeared behind him. He was a powerful primal but was repeatedly forced back by the zither woman. What kind of power is that? Lu Mingxun and the others stared at her in shock. As her hands moved across her zither, divine music rang, and streaks of divine light flew out like celestial blades, forcing her opponent back. He didn't even have a chance to approach. The heavenly music art of one of the four immemorial sects. The body becomes one with the Tao, the zither becomes one with the heavens. Heaven and earth play the music of the grand Tao. The power of heaven and earth concentrates on the fingertips, while the Tao transforms into arrows, and the strings are the bow. Long Chen murmured to himself. This was something Zhu Yan had told him. His understanding of the music Tao was far greater than normal people. Her opponent suddenly roared, his body lit up like a star, causing the entire martial stage to shake. This was no longer the old martial stage, it was not split into blocks but was the full stage. Hence, others had fought quite intensely before but hadn't caused the martial stage to shake at all. For this person to be able to make the martial stage shake like this, he was clearly very powerful. But no matter what he did, he was always forced back by the zither music. This person has already lost. If he continues, he will force the other side to kill him, said Bai Shishi. Long Chen nodded. The Wolf Tooth Club expert had repeatedly unleashed his trump cards, while the zither woman had used only one move to keep him back. If he continued, it would be a bit shameless. This zither woman clearly did not wish to expose more of her power. She wanted this person to know that he had already lost. Just as Bai Shishi said this, that man stopped his attacks and admitted defeat. He had used up the majority of his energy and had no other choice but to admit defeat. Once he admitted defeat, the zither woman bowed slightly and left as well. She closed her eyes in meditation once more, seemingly indifferent to this victory. She's very powerful, Bai Shishi looked at her heavily. This woman had defeated a powerful primal without the slightest effort, she was unfathomable. Just by displaying a trace of the music Tao, she defeated a primal. She truly is very powerful, said Long Chen. After her round, the competition ended for the day, and on the next day, everyone arrived early. All these battles were marvelous, and no one wanted to miss them. She's the first one today, now there's something to watch. The stage's runes lit up, and a woman with a fierce appearance appeared. Chapter 3113 Natural Charm Her skin was fair and mostly exposed, and her long legs only had a short skirt covering them. Moreover, her curves were perfectly displayed, possessing a fatal attraction. Wearing no shoes, she stood there barefooted. Everyone was staring at her, both men and women were attracted by her beauty. When she was sitting before, she appeared holy, but on the martial stage, an unspeakable charm exuded from her. A single look or a single movement from her could draw in people's hearts. 
Natural charm, looking at her, Long Chen suddenly thought of Yu Ziaokian. She also possessed a natural charm along with the purest bloodline of the original devil race. With her talent, she could cultivate the original devil race's charm arts. These charm arts were beguiling techniques. With her beauty and talent, if she cultivated people, then no man or woman would be able to resist them. Originally, this was a path that Yu Ziaokian would have walked down. But she had given up on this talent after encountering Long Chen. She always thought that Long Chen didn't know, but he just didn't say anything. Instead, he remembered this in his heart. Yu Ziaokian knew that no man would like having his woman using charm arts. Hence, she had entrusted herself and her entire race to him, giving up her talent in that regard. She had sacrificed much for him. Seeing this woman, Long Chen felt many emotions. All the peerlessly beautiful and talented women by his side had made so many sacrifices for him, as for himself, he was unable to even provide a stable life for them. Hey, you're supposed to be an expert, don't get seduced by her, you represent the High Firmament Academy, have some face, said Lu Mingxu in a bit irritably when she saw Long Chen staring at that woman without blinking. Long Chen shook his head and ignored her, although that woman was beautiful. It was the result of exposing her most beautiful areas. His own beauties were all prettier than her. Right now, all the attention was on her. Almost no one paid any attention to her opponent, a large man with a giant gourd on his back covered in ancient marks. Its aura was quite powerful. It should be a treasure item. Upon seeing his opponent, a perverted light appeared in his eyes. His own wicked desires were fully exposed in front of her. At that moment, the barrier separating them vanished and the battle officially commenced. The man sinisterly laughed. He, little girl, there's no need to fight. You aren't a match for me. I don't want to be like that young master Wuji and ruin such a beautiful flower. Why don't you just follow me, and I'll satisfy all your desires? That woman slowly raised her hand, the slightest look of disdain appearing on her face. She then clenched her hand. As a result, space twisted and a translucent hand covered up the martial stage. Boom. As the hand closed down on the stage, cracks spread throughout the floor. The intense rumbling caused everyone to jump. That hand was the same as the woman's hand. She then slowly released her hand, and the giant palm faded. However, her opponent was gone. All that remained were some red ripples in the air. After that, a large gourd fell to the ground. It was like a hammer dropping at the bottom of their hearts, shaking them. He, he died. Killed in one move. Voices quivered. This had happened so suddenly that it felt like the fight was over before it began. Even by Shishi, young master Chan Chuan, Luo Xue, and the others jumped. What technique had this bewitching woman used to kill her opponent? It had to be known that her opponent was a powerful primal, but he hadn't even had a chance to resist. Without forming seals, without chanting anything, without using her Yuan spirit, without using her bloodline power, how could she possibly do this? Mukingayan covered her mouth, staring at her in shock. That woman took her opponent's gourd. She had barely managed to grab it before she was sent out of the stage. Everyone stared at her in shock. They were silent. That attack of hers was so shocking that they didn't even bother watching the upcoming battles. Are you able to tell what happened? asked Bai Shishi. Long Chen nodded. Bai Shishi then said, This method is rarely seen. The world is so big, I suppose it's normal for such a thing to appear, said Long Chen lightly. Hey, what are you talking about? What did you see? Can you not treat us like air? demanded Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen explained, that woman used heavenly Tao energy, but contrary to others who need to form hand seals and chant, merging the body, mouth, and will, she is already one with the Tao and can freely use the power of the heavenly Daos without hand seals or saying the name of her technique. Hence, her attack came without any warning, without using her Yuan spirit or bloodline power. As for her opponent, he was already under the effect of her charm technique and was unable to even see through how deep his opponent was before daring to act like young master Wuji. His death was deserved. This explanation stunned them. This woman's cultivation path was completely different from other people's. It's too bad, if it was young master Wuji who encountered her, he would definitely have been killed. Just like that, even his expression has changed, 
said Liu Mingxuan. Long Chen and the others looked and saw that she was right. Young Master Wu Ji's expression was clearly unnatural. He was drinking some wine, but no matter what, it seemed like an act to cover up his unease. It was obvious that he had also set his intentions on her. After seeing this though, he was afraid. There was no way for him to prepare for such a move. It's Ku Wu Ai's turn, whispered Chin Feng. Everyone then looked back to the martial stage. Chapter 3114 Heaven Shaking Physical Body As Ku Wu Ai appeared on the stage, everyone turned silent. Ku Wu Ai's reputation preceded him. He was a peerlessly ruthless person. The corpse devil Dao was an ancient and mysterious path. In the immortal world, there were corpse devil sects, corpse devil gates, corpse devil caves, etc. But none of them were on the same side. The corpse devil Dao had many inheritances, but those who had obtained those inheritances were not unified. It was the opposite. They all viewed each other as enemies, and if they ever had a chance, they would devour the other. The infighting between the corpse devil Dao inheritances was exceptionally intense. Thus, any surviving powers with those inheritances were extremely powerful. Ku Wu Aya was from the corpse devil sect, an existence that shook those in the nine prefectures. Moreover, despite being relatively young, his name was known to almost everyone within the nine prefectures. Looking at his opponent, Ku Wu Aya coldly said, Are you tired of living? His opponent was another large man with a giant axe on his back. His blood chi fluctuations were powerful as his manifestation flowed behind him. Ku Wu Aya, I hear that your physical body is unrivaled. I don't believe it. I want to experience a few blows from you today. This person raised his axe, which head was as big as a table. At this moment, ancient runes flashed on it, and a heavy air exuded from it. This was clearly a very powerful treasure item. Ku Wu Aya looked at him like a king looking at an ant. He then sneered, the light of a firefly there's to compete with the moon? Fine, I'll receive one blow from you to show that arrogant fellow, who won the Tao discussion convention, just what the difference between us is. When he said this, everyone's gaze flickered toward Long Chen. These words were clearly for him. Is Ku Wu Aya challenging Long Chen? People's excitement began to rise. Now, there would be a good show. Long Chen acted like he hadn't heard anything. On the other hand, an angry fire ignited in Chen Feng's eyes, but he didn't say anything. The barrier between them vanished. Immediately, the axe-wielding expert stamped on the ground, shooting forward like a bolt of lightning. The entire martial stage shuddered. He knew he wasn't a match for Ku Wu Aya, so he started off with a full power blow, retreating just like this wasn't something he was willing to do. In the face of that attack, Ku Wu Aya's look of disdain didn't change. Just standing there, he allowed the axe to land on him. Only once it was right in front of him did he turn his head ever so slightly. Boom. The giant axe slashed into Ku Wu Aya's shoulder. The immense force caused cracks to spread throughout the martial stage. What? Chin Feng, Lu Obing, and the others stared in shock. Other than having the clothes on his upper body blasted apart, Ku Wu Aya wasn't injured in the slightest. With the powerful astral waves and immense aura raging from within, no one doubted the power of that axe. Heavens, is he really human? He used his bare body to block the attack of a treasure item. He's a demon. How can a body be trained to this level? Everyone was stunned. Even the treasure item was unable to harm his body. Was there really such an existence in this world? Even Long Chen was shocked. Although he had sensed that this person's physical body would be terrifying, he hadn't expected it to have reached this level. An ant is just an ant. Even if I give you a chance, you can't grasp it. Ku Wu Aya's body didn't budge at all when his opponent's axe slammed into his shoulder. His opponent was shocked. Just as he was retreating, Ku Wu Aya smashed a fist into him, and without even being able to make a grunt, he was blasted into blood mist. He used a body of flesh to receive the attack of a treasure item, and then he used one punch to blast apart his opponent. Ku Wu Aya's display was shocking. Although there were rumors that he was vicious and unrivaled in the same realm, no one had expected it to have reached this level. I didn't expect him to be so powerful, young Master Chan Chuan's expression was a bit dark. Last time, 
when he fought Ku Wuaya, he lost due to being cursed. Originally, he had been planning on making a comeback and fighting Ku Wuaya again, but unexpectedly, Ku Wuaya had become so terrifying. If he had possessed such a powerful physical body last time, then even without relying on his curse, he would have still defeated young master Cheng Chuan. The current Ku Wuaya was practically a completely different person. The difference was enormous. Young Master Chang Chuan didn't know if it was because Ku Wuaya had been holding back last time, or if he had suddenly encountered some miracle that made his combat power soar. The axe then clattered to the ground, but Ku Wuaya didn't even bother picking it up. He only made a throat cutting gesture toward Long Chen, revealing two rows of teeth at him with a sinister smile. Ku Wuaya was sent out. The battle was over in just two moves one axe and one fist. However, it was one of the most shocking battles that everyone had witnessed. This was true power. Countless heavenly geniuses had come here to gain experience. Now they found that despite being called heavenly geniuses, there was far too great of a difference between them and Kuwaya. Just as he said, they were really as minuscule as ants. They looked from Kuwaya to Long Chen, who looked as indifferent as ever, as if nothing had happened. Now there will be a show. Long Chen won a Dao discussion convention, and he's also participating in the Martial Dao convention. Many competitors are targeting him. There might be a good fight soon. Too many people are targeting him. There are the Chu family, young master Wuji, Ku Wuaya, as well as the final disciple of the Blood Gill Hall's master. Every single one of them is terrifying. I don't know how many Long Chen can beat. The main thing is that all of them want Long Chen's life. By killing him, they can snatch away his glory of being the Dao Discussion Convention's winner. It will also topple the principles that he discussed, proving that what he said is not reality. The newly won glory of the High Firmament Academy will be erased. Countless people discussed this new turn. Clearly, they didn't have high hopes for Long Chen. Although they greatly admired him, power was power. It had nothing to do with admiration. Ku Wuaya's one fist had eclipsed Long Chen's power. Boss, Chen Feng looked at Long Chen. It's fine. When I run into him, I'll knock his teeth out. Long Chen smiled slightly, his words caused by Shishi and the others to jump. They looked at him in disbelief. Chapter 3115 Long Chen vs. Young Master Wuji Seeing Ku Wuaya's terrifying physical body made Long Chen's blood heat up, a fierce battle intent rose within him. He had never seen such a terrifying physical body, but he also didn't feel any fear. Instead, he was excited. Only experts could make him feel such an intense urge to fight. Ha ha ha, I knew from long ago that my boss is unrivaled seeing that look in Long Chen's eyes, Chen Feng laughed. That old feeling was returning. After entering the immortal world, Long Chen had put away his sharpness. Today, it was slowly coming back. That confidence made Chen Feng feel like they had returned to the martial heaven continent, and Long Chen was once more leading them to run rampant over the world. His own blood boiled with excitement. It's too bad that I encountered Boss too late. Otherwise, I'd have gotten into the top hundred as well. Chen Feng looked at his arm bracers with a bit of regret. Long Chen had given the two arm bracers to Chin Feng. With Bai Shishi's mother's help, he had managed to subdue them, so he was also protected by treasure items now. Just yesterday, Long Chen had fully expelled all the pill toxins in Chin Feng's body, and using medicinal pills, he had widened Chin Feng's meridians, strengthening his power many times. Although he wasn't a primal, now his power was definitely not inferior to any primal. Adding on his combat experience, when Luo Qing exchanged blows with Chen Feng, she wasn't a match for him. The competition then continued. Young Master Chan Chuan, Bai Shishi, and Luo Shui went one after another. Luo Shui had to put in a great deal of effort to beat her opponent. Long Chen knew that Luo Shui had put on an intentional act of weakness for the Chu family's people to see. As for why she had done this, Long Chen didn't know, but she didn't say anything, so he didn't ask. After encountering Luo Qing and Luo Xue, he found that the Luo family's foundation was even deeper than he had imagined. However, the Luo family's arrogance was different from the Chu family's. They were deeply reserved, rarely displaying their power. After a while, 
the curtain to the second day's competition fell. Long Chen and the others then went back to their residences. Long Chen went into seclusion, telling them not to disturb him for nothing. He didn't even bother going to see the third day's battles. After the third day, the top 256 were born. They were given one day's rest before the next stage started. After that, the top 256 were going to be whittled down to the top 128. Long Chen, what's wrong with your eyes? When Long Chen finally came out of seclusion, Bai Shishi and the others jumped. His eyes were bleeding. I'm fine. Long Chen shook his eyes and didn't explain. A stabbing pain throbbed in his eyes, but his spirits were high. After countless experiments, he finally managed to control a trace of the purgatory eye's power. When the lots were drawn and Long Chen saw his opponent, he smiled. It's actually young master Wuji. Young master Chen Chuan looked at his tablet and smiled. That bastard had finally run into them. Long Chen, don't be careless. Young master Wuji can rampage so fearlessly not just because of his immense power. He also has many treacherous tricks. You might fall for one if you're not careful, warned Luo Xuat. Although young master Wuji was hated by many people, he was still living a carefree life. Other than his sex protection, his own power was just as terrifying. Many people were simply tricked by his outer appearance and thus fell for his tricks. That woman he had previously slain had been a powerful primal, but after failing with her first attack, she ended up falling into his palm. Since the anger that Long Chen had displayed back then was truly terrifying, Luo Xue was worried that he would jump into young master Wu Ji's trap even easier due to this anger. The fighting quickly started. The matches would be spread over two days. This time, the order of the fights was announced ahead of time. Long Chen was 17th, so his battle would be today. The battles today were even more intense. Multiple people were fighting to the death. According to the convention's rules, maliciously killing your opponent would cause you to be eliminated. However, after the Huaian Trading Company took over, they found that this was not one of the original rules. It was added in later, so this rule was basically disposed of. Killing your opponent was not against the rules. When Silver Moon City added this rule, it was entirely to their own benefit. It allowed them to eliminate powerful opponents under the guise of maliciousness. After all, whether or not it was malicious was entirely up to them. This rule was abolished for now to make it fair. However, the battle also became bloodier. For the rewards, for fame, the competitors fought with their lives on the line. The path of cultivation was one of no retreat, and no one was willing to fail. Those who had managed to reach this point were peak heavenly geniuses, existences said to be unrivaled in the same realm. Every single one of them possessed their own pride, so they would rather die than fail. Long Chen's turn came quickly. When he appeared on the martial stage, cheers rang out. Boss San, kill that trash. Rip him into 10,000 pieces. Wring his head off and stuff it up his ass. Dot. Countless people hated young Master Wu Ji for his previous actions, so they all hoped for Long Chen to kill him. Young Master Wu Ji also appeared on the martial stage. As a torrent of curses rained upon him, he sneered, They all have such high expectations for you. It's too bad that such a beautiful imagination will never manifest. I have 10,000 ways to kill you. I only need one for you, said Long Chen coldly. He truly wished to act indifferent and relax a bit, but he was unable to suppress the killing intent welling up inside him. Ha ha ha, do you think that this is the Tao discussion convention, that you can pass just by talking glibly? We are competing with true power here, not theories on paper. Even if your words could cause the heavens to rain flowers, it won't change the fact that you'll be defeated by me here. He, but there's one point that I admire you for. You have so many beautiful women surrounding you. Don't worry, once you're dead, I'll love them so much that they hurt, especially that one called Bai Shishi. Ha ha ha, young master Wu Ji smiled lecherously at Bai Shishi and the others. Courting death, Bai Shishi's face was ice cold, killing intense surging out of her. Not good. Long Chen has fallen for his trap, said Luo Xue heavily. Chapter 3116 Heavenly Flame Prison What? Everyone was startled. What trap had he fallen into? Just look at his expression. He's already clenching his fists, and his veins are throbbing. 
he's furious. Young Master Wu Ji is intentionally provoking him so that when the fight starts, his fighting style will be simple and explosive. Young Master Wu Ji definitely prepared countless traps for him to jump into. I even warned Long Chen so that he would be mentally prepared, but as soon as Young Master Wu Ji mentioned Fairy Shishi, he was unable to control his emotions said Luo Xue. Bai Shishi was stunned. Looking at Long Chen, she saw his gloomy expression. Dark lines could vaguely be seen in his eyes. He cares about me this much, Bai Shishi was startled. A feeling that she had never felt before welled up inside her. She thought of a certain thing that her mother had mentioned to her. That's not good. Once Brother Sen gets angry, he has no misgivings at all. If young Master Wu Ji uses the same move that he did before, he really might fall for it, said Mu Qingyan. I say, you're all worrying for nothing. You don't understand my boss. His anger impacts his intellect but not his combat abilities. Just watch, said Chin Feng. These people were worried for a long chan. What kind of joke was that? Are you angry? You can't even control your emotions. Someone like you can be called an expert? How laughable. In this kind of battle, you'll simply die. Kneel and repent to me and I can spare your life though, said young master Wuji. It seemed that Long Chen wasn't as powerful as he had imagined. You really know how to anger others, but you've chosen the wrong target. You shouldn't have angered me. Long Chen's voice was a bit hoarse. A certain kind of energy within his body began to stir. The dark power was attempting to control Long Chen's body, control his soul. It wanted to be unleashed. After repeated experiments, Long Chen found that restraining himself only nourished that power. The more he restrained himself, the more active that power became. Long Chen then intentionally suppressed his anger and found that even his voice had changed. This voice was emotionless and merciless. Even he didn't recognize it. Ha ha ha, with death at hand, your mouth is still tough. Fine, then I'll show you my true abilities today, young Master Wu Ji raised his head and laughed. The barrier between them vanished. Young Master Wu Ji rapidly formed ant seals, and grand elf flowers bloomed around him. They were a blaze of purples and reds, hiding him within. Long Chen didn't charge in directly Luo Shue was pleasantly surprised. They had expected him to charge right in. Young Master Wu Ji had expected this as well, and that was what these flowers were for. This was one of the Flower Butterfly School's secret arts. Once detonated, they would become a powerful poison. Furthermore, every flower contained a different poison. Coward, you don't even have the courage to attack? You should just smash your head into the stage and kill yourself? Long Chen's lack of action was outside of young Master Wu Ji's expectations. Appearing above the sea of flowers, he sneered. That's about enough, Long Chen slowly formed ant seals. As a result, red flames soared out of Long Chen, instantly filling the entire martial stage. These flames shocked countless people. They were entirely unaware that Long Chen was actually a flame element cultivator. The sea of flames clashed against heaven and earth, enveloping young Master Wu Ji. You dare to take out a bit of fire to embarrass yourself? Did your master only teach you this little bit of ability? Sneered young Master Wu Ji. The flowers around him blocked the flames. Long Chen ignored him, and the flames continued to soar. Space twisted, but they were still powerless against young Master Wu Ji. That young Master Wu Ji really is sinister. He doesn't dare to take the initiative in attacking, afraid that Long Chen will grasp that chance to kill him. His trap lies around defending and drawing Long Chen in. With that, he has the highest chance of victory said Luo Xue. Did your father and mother give birth to you just so that you could embarrass yourself? If you have the guts, come at me. Young Master Wu Ji constantly provoked Long Chen, saying all kinds of ugly words. Suddenly, Long Chen looked at young Master Wu Ji. When a black mark appeared in his eyes, young Master Wu Ji's hair stood on end. He felt like he had fallen into an iceberg. His entire body was cold. It was like an ancient beast had set its gaze on him, and he was too scared to even move. Just at this moment, the countless flames within the martial stage transformed, condensing into flame chains. Heavenly Flame Prison Flame chains shot through the air, binding young Master Wu Ji instantly. He tried to struggle, but he found that these chains were incredibly tough. They also contained the laws of a Grand Dao, and he was unable to break them. After binding young Master Wu Ji, Long Chen appeared in front of him while wielding a flame sword in his hand. 
He then slashed it down and cut off young Master Wu Ji's arm. That arm was instantly incinerated by the flames. You want to admit defeat? Do you think that's possible? Long Chen's voice was ice cold. It was as if it came from a soul reaper from hell. Young Master Wu Ji had tried to admit defeat just now, but Long Chen didn't give him that chance. He cut off his arm holding the tablet, making him unable to activate it. No, you can't kill me. If you kill me, any trace of young Master Wu Ji's calm vanished. He cried out in terror. Long Chen's flame sword stabbed into his leg. Huh? A miserable scream interrupted young Master Wu Ji's words. With his power, just being stabbed in the leg shouldn't be so unbearable. Hence, that miserable scream caused countless disdainful gazes to be cast his way. But those people were unaware that Long Chen was skilled in this regard. This sword was stabbed in precisely the place that caused the most pain. He deserves it. Kill him. Boss San, make sure he doesn't have a quick death. That's right. This fellow has done countless wicked things. Killing him would be letting him off too easy. Countless cheers rang out. Young Master Wu Ji was truly hated. Stop. Just at this moment, a resounding beast-like roar rang out, shaking people's ears and making stars spin in their eyes. They instantly fell silent and turned toward the source. The Flower Butterfly Patriarch. Chapter 3117 Karmic Flames Refined the Soul an elder had appeared in the air and shouted at the martial stage. He was above the outer spectator stand, but his voice still transmitted straight through the barrier and into the formation. Those in the inner stand were the competitors, and the outer stand was for those who had come to watch. Bai Shishi's mother might be leading the High Firmament Academy's competitors, but even she was forced to watch from the outer spectator stand. This flower butterfly patriarch held an exceedingly high position in the flower butterfly school. He was three generations of seniority above the current sect master. Also, young master Wu Ji was someone he viewed highly, so naturally, he pampered him and looked after him, resulting in young master Wu Ji acting like nothing was taboo, even the sect master couldn't suppress him. The flower butterfly patriarch was once an expert that had shaken the nine prefectures. He had committed countless atrocities with no one capable of stopping him. Hence, countless people cried out when he appeared. Release Wuji, otherwise, I will crush you, shouted the flower butterfly patriarch at Long Chen. The High Firmament Academy's experts were enraged when they heard this. This fellow actually dared to interfere in the competition. Big words, I just worry about whether you have that ability. A cool voice rang out. It was by Shishi's mother. The flower butterfly patriarch was threatening Long Chen. While Bai Shishi's mother had spoken up in support of Long Chen, the two of them were instantly thrown against each other. However, Long Chen completely ignored the flower butterfly patriarch's threat. Even if Bai Shishi's mother hadn't spoken up for him, nothing would have changed. After that, he once more stabbed his sword into young master Wu Ji's leg. Ah! Young master Wu Ji screamed, and it gave others goosebumps. His face was twisted, and his whole body shuddered. They could only imagine what kind of pain he was suffering. This time, not one person cheered for Long Chen. That was due to the Flower Butterfly Patriarch. They didn't want to make trouble for themselves or their sects, but they cheered inside. Long Chen, are you trying to die? roared the Flower Butterfly Patriarch. As a result, Long Chen expressionlessly stabbed his flame sword into young Master Wu Ji's shoulder. The latter then screamed once more, his eyes bulging. Long Chen, if you dare to kill me, you and your sex will all suffer the Flower Butterfly School's bloody retribution. You and your family, they will all die miserable deaths. Huh? Young Master Wu Ji screamed again as Long Chen stabbed him in the shoulder once more. Every stab from Long Chen's sword gave young Master Wu Ji unbearable pain. The pain was even gradually progressing but slow enough that he wouldn't pass out. Spare me, Boss San, Dead San, you're my father, okay? I'm willing to be your servant. Please, let me off. When threatening failed, young Master Wu Ji switched to begging. His will completely crumbled and he began to weep. At this moment, Long Chen's expression slowly grew calm, and the flames of fury in his heart gradually faded. The dark energy within him also settled. 
This dark energy was the result of his negative emotions accumulating. If he wanted to relieve it, he had to unleash his anger. If he wanted to maintain control, he had to unleash these negative emotions. This was also what the dragon expert had said, that he couldn't bottle it up forever. Countless experts looked at young Master Wuji's begging with disdain. Long Chen then spread his arms, and countless flame runes appeared, condensing into a new sword. Long Chen expressionlessly said, You only understand pain when the sword stabs through your body. Only with death at hand do you understand how precious life is. When you trampled over other people's dignity and took their lives, did you think about their desire to live? You viewed their lives as nothing more than blades of grass, thinking that you were strong enough to take their lives. Someone like you isn't fit to live in this world. I told you that I would make you regret being born in this world. Repent for your sins with this pain. Long Chen's sword then stabbed into young Master Wu Ji's dantian. There were now five flame swords stabbed into young Master Wu Ji's body, and they all lit up. The multicolored flames twisted into flame dragons that ran rampant through his body. Ah! Young Master Wu Ji screamed. It seemed that the pain had multiplied countless times, and it made the spectator's hair rise on end. This is karmic flames refining the soul. How can he know this move? In the outer stand, an elder cried out in shock. What is karmic flames refining the soul? Asked someone nearby. It is the flames of the heavenly deos questioning a soul, excavating all the evils that they have buried deep in their soul. This is a kind of heavenly Tao art specialized against those that are wicked beyond redemption. But this kind of technique was said to be lost. How can Long Chen use it at such an age? Someone interjected, karmic flames refining the soul is a technique that directly enters the heart. The shame and fear in the inner heart will transform into pain. Even if your soul extinguishes, even if your longevity reaches an end, even if your essence, chi, and spirit are all gone, you still won't die. You have to wait until all your sins are incinerated before you are free. Furthermore, if you have too many sins, your soul will dissipate and not enter the cycle of reincarnation. When the spectators heard this, their hearts shook. After all, who hadn't done bad things in their life? Beads of sweat rolled down their backs. Long Chen, I told you to spare him, shouted Flower Butterfly Patriarch, charging toward the stage. Just at this moment, divine light exploded, striking the Flower Butterfly Patriarch. As a result, his expression completely changed, and he unleashed a palm. Boom! As the Flower Butterfly Patriarch's arm exploded, blood rained down. Moreover, he was sent flying while coughing up blood. The various experts present were stunned. That was a Divine Lord Realm expert, but he was injured by the formation as soon as he approached it. What an idiot! Does he think that Silver Moon City is still in charge of everything? The control over the Martial Stage has been handed to the Huaian Trading Company. It is the Martial Stage itself carrying out the rules. The fact that he wasn't killed for this infraction is thanks to his luck, sneered someone. Just like the Tao Discussion Stage, this Martial Stage had its own item spirit, and it was carrying out its ancient laws. If anyone dared to interfere in this, it would unleash its attack. However, previously, it had been controlled by Silver Moon City's people, and so there had essentially never been a case of the martial stage unleashing an attack, but it was different now. Boom! Just at this moment, young Master Wu Ji exploded and his soul dispersed, transforming into nothingness. He disappeared from heaven and earth just like this. Long Chen, if I don't grind your bones to dust, I swear that I'm not human, roared the Flower Butterfly Patriarch. Chapter 3118 GUI Yun appears on stage. You aren't human anyway, so who cares? Just wait. When I get back, I will destroy your flower butterfly school. After killing young Master Wuji, Long Chen was in an excellent mood. So, he replied to the flower butterfly patriarch before being sent out. Boss, that was amazing, exclaimed Bai Zio worshipfully. Young Master Wuji's death was truly relieving. It really was satisfying. That bastard finally met his retribution said Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen had won, smoothly advancing into the top 128. He then checked on Bai Ziaol's opponent. Seeing that it wasn't a supreme existence, he said goodbye and went into seclusion once more. After killing young master Wuji, he directly left, 
not even watching the upcoming battles. It caused quite a few people to wonder if his heavenly flame prison had resulted in some kind of backlash that he needed to recover from. The reason they guessed this was due to just how powerful it was. Young Master Wuji was extremely powerful, but he had still been trapped and could only await his death. For such a strong skill to have a backlash was normal. What they didn't know was that as long as Long Chen summoned Huo Long, he could instantly capture young Master Wuji. However, the reason he had done this was to mislead people, making them think that the Heavenly Flame Prison was not such an easy move to use. Before unleashing the Heavenly Flame Prison, he had stealthily spread flame runes into every corner of the martial stage. Once it was saturated, he unleashed the technique, trapping young Master Wuji. Back then, young Master Wuji was on the stage and couldn't see it, but the experts watching from outside would have been able to tell. This was something that Long Chen had intentionally shown them just to avoid exposing Huo Long's power. Huo Long had already grown to an absolutely terrifying level. Even Long Chen was shocked. It was now growing increasingly familiar with the immortal world's laws, so it could use flame divine abilities almost instantly. An insignificant young master Wuji wasn't worth him exposing Huo Long. Long Chen then returned to his residence safely. Their wealth was growing alongside their martial force. If you possessed only wealth and no martial power, there was no way you could survive in the immortal world. Thus, Long Chen wasn't worried about the Flower Butterfly Patriarch's reprisal in Silver Moon City. As expected, Bai Shishi, Young Master Chan Chuan, and Bai Xia all easily passed. Bai Shishi and Young Master Chan Chuan relied on their immense power, while Bai Xia all relied on his eyes. Just as Long Chen said, Bai Xia all's eyes were monstrous. When the spatial energy activated, space time was thrown into chaos to the point that others couldn't even touch him. Once they were trapped, they could only admit defeat. Up until now, no one had managed to find a way to break the three flower pupils. Countless people envied this divine ability, so no one wanted to end up matched against him. While Bai Shishi, young master Chan Chuan, and Bai Xiao easily passed through, Luo Xue didn't pass so smoothly. She had exchanged injury for injury with her opponent, just narrowly managing to pass. The opponent was one of their enemies and extremely ferocious. Hence, Luo Xue brushed up against death multiple times. Just watching her fight made Luo Bing and the others' hearts clench. But ultimately, it was Luo Xue who won. They had all managed to get into the top 128. If they won the next battle, they would obtain a huge reward. According to the information distributed by the Huaian Trading Company, this reward included immortal crystals, medicinal pills, secret tomes, weapons, etc. Anything you wanted, you could pick it yourself. This was a huge opportunity, particularly for Luo Xue. Despite the Luo family's reputation, their disciples were not freely given wealth to squander, so, Luo Xue didn't have a single treasure item. As long as she passed the next round, she could select a treasure item for herself. Because of this, she immediately consumed a medicinal pill to heal in preparation for the next round. Unexpectedly, the one to fight after Luo Shua was actually Ku Wuaya, but even before he stepped onto the stage, his opponent directly admitted defeat. Ku Wuaya probably won't be fighting for a few rounds now, sighed Luo Bing. Everyone nodded. Ku Wuaya was absolutely terrifying. The way that he had used his physical body to receive the attack of a treasure item had shaken everyone. No one wanted to match up against him. Ji Yun has appeared. After Ku Wuaya, the next one was Ji Yun. But this time, Ji Yun's opponent didn't immediately give up. Clearly, he was extremely confident in himself to dare to fight him. It's too bad that Long Chen isn't here. It's a rare chance to see Ji Yun fight, said Lu Ning. Boss can't be bothered to waste his time on that. We'll watch for him, said Chin Feng with a smile. He truly understands Long Chen. He never wasted his time investigating his opponents. That's Zhou Cheng Fen, the Moonlight Manor's young master. He awakened his primal bloodline at the age of 16, and his wind element power allows him to strike like the wind and move like lightning. No wonder he dares to fight Ji Yui Yun. He specializes in speed. I heard that this person has been attacked by multiple assassins of the Blood Gill Hall, and he killed them all. This is probably why he dares to challenge Ji Yui Yun said Lu Mingxuan, checking a J tablet in her hand. 
Where did you get this information from? asked Chen Feng. Lu Mingzu unrolled her eyes. Naturally I bought it. Do you think someone would just give it to me? When did you buy it? Why didn't we know? asked Lu Obing with a hint of suspicion. Aya, you are all foolish. There are people specifically selling information. I can just buy a single J tablet, and when I see someone I want information on, I'll just pay the money, and the report will appear on the tablet, said Lu Mingxuan. Bai Shishi said, we're not foolish, it's just that we don't have your money. We can't compare to your Lu family's wealth. He, what do you mean my Lu family? You have half the Lu family's blood in you. You don't have money because you're stubborn. Your grandfather offered you money, but you rejected it, said Lu Mingxuan. I'm ignoring you, Bai Shishi turned away, not wanting to discuss this matter. On the martial stage, Zhou Chang Feng had taken out a saber. It was translucent, and when it appeared, a wind manifested on the stage. This was a wind attribute divine weapon that perfectly matched him. This treasure item could only unleash its full potential in his hands. Although many people had appeared on the stage with a treasure item, not one of them was capable of unleashing the full power of a treasure item. That was due to them having clashing natures, or being unable to activate their treasure item's potential. Gui Yun, your blood kill hall has gone too far. Do you think that no one dares to fight you? The blood kill hall has attempted to assassinate me seven times, but I've killed all those assassins. I also killed five pieces of trash from the blood kill hall on the martial stage. Today, I'll show everyone that the blood kill hall's reputation of being assassination gods is dog shit. In front of my speed, you are all trash, shouted Zhou Cheng Fen, pointing his saber at Ji Yui Yun. It seems that you specialize in speed, then it might be interesting. A faint smile appeared on Ji Yui Yun's plump face. As the barrier between them vanished, Zhou Chang Feng instantly disappeared from his location and appeared behind Ji Yui Yun. What speed? Everyone was shocked, and even Bai Shishi was moved. She had never seen such speed. Chapter 3119 The Terrifying Gui Yun Zhou Chang Feng's speed was shocking. By the time that they saw him move, he was already behind Gui Yun and attacking. Gui Yun's body was cut in two, but no blood came from his neck. After that, people clearly saw two Gui Yuns, and the second Gui Yun was holding Zhou Chang Feng's head. What? Zhou Chang Feng's headless corpse collapsed. The instant that his head was cut off, the flame of his soul was extinguished. He was already dead. At that moment, the first Gui Yun vanished. It had happened all too fast. The real Gui Yun was already standing behind Zhou Cheng Feng by the time he attacked. So the first Gui Yan was nothing more than an afterimage. What kind of speed is that? Bai Ziao felt a chill. With that kind of speed, he wouldn't even be able to activate his three flower pupils before being slain. We didn't even see his weapon said Lu Mingxuan, her voice quivering. This Gui Yun was absolutely terrifying. Zhou Chang Feng was a wind element expert with shocking speed. If she were to encounter him, she would definitely be at a disadvantage and unable to keep up with him. She might even be slain in one move. Such speed, such a sharp attack, they were all nothing in the face of Gui Yun. He cut off Zhou Chang Feng's head just like that. Zhou Chang Feng was fast. But Gui Yun couldn't even be described as just fast. This kind of movement art didn't even make sense. It was absolutely bizarre. Who could block such a thing? It seems that your speed was too slow. Gui Yun loosened his grip, and Zhou Cheng Feng's head fell to the ground. A generation's expert died just like this, leaving everyone deathly silent. Many people knew of Gui Yun. Their elders had warned them to admit defeat if they encountered him. They didn't like it but their elders sternly warned them that anyone who didn't listen would be expelled. Hence, those that encountered him had no choice but to immediately admit defeat. However, when those people saw Gui Yun fight, they blessed their luck. Many experts had also thought about testing themselves against Gui Yun if they encountered him. Now, they felt a chill. Gui Yun wasn't tall. He was also a bit pudgy. However, this seemingly slow fatty actually possessed such terrifying speed. Someone who could make Imputa break his word and accept him as another final disciple can't be ordinary. This is normal. Don't worry, whether it's Gui Yun or Ku Wuya, 
they will definitely end up fighting against my boss sooner or later, said Chin Feng. Impudent naturally wouldn't take someone ordinary as his disciple. You aren't worried for your boss, asked Lu Mingxuan. What is there to worry about? Just remember that boss is unrivaled. You're worried for him because you don't understand him. Boss is truly Loki. He hides his true power deeply. He, these two fellows will probably be able to force boss to take out his real power. Just wait to watch a good show, said Chin Feng with a laugh. He had followed Long Chen for many years and truly understood him. Thinking of how he would get to see Long Chen go all out again, he felt his blood heating up. Seeing Liu Mingxuan and the others actually worry about him, he particularly wanted to see their shocked expressions. To use Guo Ran's words, I like to see your expressions the most when you realize just how small the world that you've seen is. Although Chen Feng had absolute confidence in Long Chen, Liu Mingxuan and the others didn't quite dare to believe it. Whether it was Ku Wuya or Ji Yuai Yun, they were both so powerful that they exceeded the limits of humanity. They were monsters. I just hope that I don't encounter someone like that in my next match, otherwise, my path to the top hundred will be cut off, Luo Shua bitterly smiled. Other than Ku Wuai and Ji Yuai Yun, there were also that Zither woman and the woman who could activate heavenly Dao energy without forming hand seals, she would have to directly admit defeat upon encountering them, she didn't even wish to fight a bit with them. Moreover, there were also others that she didn't have much confidence against. Since there were no longer any weaklings, every victory would come at a price. After the two days of fighting, they were given another day of rest before the martial stage was open once more. Only then did Long Chen come out of seclusion. When he came out, Bai Shishi and the others were shocked by his appearance once. They felt a sharpness from him that made him seem like a sword that had been unsheathed. Navaloon.com What have you been doing lately? How is your aura changing so much? Asked Bai Shishi. Long Chen's aura had been changing so much that it felt foreign. I've been researching a heaven-defying battle skill. Just now, I finally managed to figure it out. It can't be considered mastered yet, so I still have that aura on me for now, said Long Chen with a smile. His mood was particularly good now. After repeated tests, he finally managed to figure out a way of integrating the first form of split the heavens with the immortal world's laws. He attested it inside of him, and although there were some minor flaws, he was definitely capable of using it. The will of split the heavens was also manifested. It was sharp and domineering. He would need some time to retract it. Let's go. Today's the day to decide who gets into the top 64. Hopefully, the five of us can all get in, said Bai Shishi. If only. Luo Shua knew that Bai Shishi was referring to her. That was because as long as Bai Shishi, Long Chen, Young Master Chan Chuan, and Bai Zia all didn't encounter a few select people, there would be no suspense, only she had to pray. Don't feel too much pressure, it's not like you're the main force of the Luo family either, it's not on you to carry this burden, you also don't need to worry about the Luo family's future, I guarantee with my life that the Luo family's future will only improve, Long Chen patted Luo Zhu's shoulder and grinned. Other than Luo Pingyang, Long Chen felt particularly close to the other members of the Luo family. He didn't know if it was a bloodline connection or something else, but in any case, if Luo Bing, Luo Ning, or the others had some difficulty, he would use his life to protect them. Luo Xua smiled and nodded. This simple smile from Long Chen instantly made her feel less pressured. Lu Mingxuan curled her lips. He, you're going too far. Why do you act so intimate with her but not me? Dirty God. Long Chen glared at her. There was no saving this woman. It always felt like her words led to some trap. Long Chen and the others once more came to the martial stage. They received an exceptionally intense cheering from the High Firmament Academy's disciples. When Long Chen smiled and waved at them, the cheering grew even more intense. Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Kei, and the others in particular shouted until their throats were sore. Long Chen and the others had all entered the top 128. The Academy hadn't gotten such a good record in many years. Furthermore, everyone could tell that whether it was Long Chen, Bai Shishi, or young master Chang Chuan, they were still holding back. They could definitely continue going for a higher ranking. The lots were once more drawn. Long Chen and the others' tablets flashed. Ha ha ha. When Long Chen saw his opponent, he couldn't help raising his head and laughing. Chu Shuang. 
Bai Shishi and the others checked and also smiled. Long Chen's luck really was good. It seemed that his wish had come true. Chapter 3120 World Blood Slash Haha, I didn't encounter any of those monsters. I can get into the top 64, exclaimed Bai Ziyol excitedly. He was full of confidence since he saw that his opponent wasn't Ji Yui Yun, Ku Wuya, or one of those monsters. Bai Shishi, Young Master Chan Chuan, and Luo Shue were also lucky enough to not encounter any supreme experts. Other than that, Luo Shue was now relaxed enough to fight without such a heavy sense of burden. Be more cautious or the entire boat will flip, said Long Chan when he saw Bai Shishi looking expressionless. You're the one who should be careful, Bai Shishi rolled her eyes at him, immediately understanding that he was teasing her. He, I'm not the one who needs to be careful, it's those fellows from the Chu family who should be careful, said Long Chen. The martial stage was quickly activated, the Huaian Trading Company wasn't carrying out all the extra formalities and such that wasted time, they were holding this convention simply indirectly. This stage would decide who got an ample reward, so everyone would be going all out. Millions of experts had been winnowed down to these few people, and not one remaining competitor was a weakling. This wasn't just for the reward, it was for the glory, the glory of themselves and the glory of their sects. The competition had been made fair thanks to Long Chen, so they naturally had to go all out. If it was like past conventions, then the ones in charge would secretly twist things so that certain experts that could have gotten into the top hundred would run into monsters like Ku Wuya and Ji Yuan. Like this, they could eliminate the participants and keep the rewards for themselves. Furthermore, even if outsiders did manage to get to this point, after so much fighting, they would probably be injured or not in peak condition. They couldn't possibly handle a peak expert. However, due to the fuss that Long Chen had made, the Huaian Trading Company became the one in charge, and everything happened fairly. Now, everyone would be fighting for the rewards based on their power. This was a precious opportunity. Luo Zhu's turn came quickly, so Long Chen gave her a thumbs up as encouragement. She then nodded and appeared on the martial stage. Her opponent was an exceptionally built man. His skin was dark, and his eyes were electric. As soon as he appeared on the stage, he summoned his manifestation. As a result, divine light flowed and dust filled the air. A manifestation of sand and dust covered his side of the martial stage in a layer of haze. It's an earth element expert. Luo Qing's expression grew serious. All earth element experts had stamina and defensive power, so to defeat an earth element expert within the allotted time was very difficult. Luo Shue also summoned her manifestation. The Luo family's primals didn't have the same manifestation, but there was one particular commonality. All their manifestations had violet chi within them. That was related to their bloodline. Legend had it that the Luo family's inheritance could be traced back to ancient times, a so-called violet bloodline from the desolate era. There was a legend that the desolate era's violet blood race was capable of destroying the heavens with a wave of a hand, of splitting the earth with a single finger. They were one of the first to control the heavenly deos and condense magical arts. Their fame was only slightly inferior to the legendary Jiuli race. However, there was naturally a huge difference between the Luo family's violet blood and that legendary violet blood. Thus, the Luo family was not recognized as part of the violet blood race. They simply had some similarities. The legendary violet blood race definitely wouldn't be so weak. Even so, the Luo family's violet blood was still very powerful. The violet chi merged into heaven and earth, allowing them to replenish themselves with the power of the heavenly deos. They were capable of fighting longer with this. Furthermore, the Luo family's cultivation techniques were specially developed to merge the power of their bloodline and heavenly Tao energy. It was a kind of cultivation style in between immortal and god cultivation. As Luo Shue was surrounded by Violet Qi, her blood Qi sword, her half of the martial stage was inundated with Violet Blood Qi. One half of the martial stage was filled with dust and sand, and the other half was filled with Violet Qi. Only the central barrier separated them. At this moment, spatial rumbling shook the stage. It was a shocking sight. 
My mother is also part of the Luo family. Theoretically, my mother's bloodline is even stronger than my father's, so why don't I have any Violet Qi in my bloodline? Long Chen sank into thought. His mother was an expert from the immortal world, and he should have inherited her bloodline, but there wasn't the slightest Violet Qi in his body. Even if his spirit blood was taken, unless he died, such a powerful bloodline should have the ability to be reborn. Novaloon.com. Long Chen rubbed his jade pendant. The dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly on the mortal world of dust. Live peacefully and happily, never to be parted. He thought of the voices he had heard back then. His mother wanted him to live a peaceful life. She didn't want him to be drawn into the dangerous cultivation world. His mother detested this world full of killing and just wanted an ordinary life. Regretfully, life was just like that merciless hand that had taken everything from him. Even having escaped the immortal world, she was unable to escape fate. Their family of three was left in chaos. Boom. An explosion drew Long Chen out of his thoughts and back to reality. Luo Xu and the Earth Element experts had started fighting. At this moment, Violet Qi and Heavy Earth raged. A giant beast came out of the earth. It had four thick limbs and a long tail, and there was a tortoise shell on it. It looked to be a cross between an alligator and a tortoise. It opened its mouth, and a ray of dark old divine light shot out. Inside that light, they could clearly see Luo Zhu's opponent. He was borrowing the beast's power to launch himself at Luo Xue. A giant hammer then thundered toward her. Luo Zhu's left hand was in a seal, while she slashed the sword in her right hand repeatedly. She unleashed 81 slashes, leaving a line of Violet Chi. Layering on top of each other, they formed a giant net. The Violet Chi was smashed apart by the hammer, but the hammer's speed was sharply reduced. When the hammer fell, Violet Chi burst out of Luo Xue. Her sword then struck the hammer and shattered. Although her Violet Chi had reduced the hammer's power, that hammer was a treasure item, while her sword was only a top-grade spirit item. As the difference was too great and she couldn't protect her sword, she was sent flying, coughing up blood. In that instant, her aura plummeted and her face turned as white as paper, even the flame of her life weakened. Long Chen, Lu Obing, Lu Oning, and the others' expressions changed. Just at this moment, a cry came from Luo Xue. Violet Chi from the East, World Blood Slash. Luo Su's pale face was heavy, she formed hand seals, and the blood that she had just spat out transformed into a sharp sword. At this moment, even her manifestation vanished. All the Violet Chi was sucked into that blood sword, and it slashed toward her opponent like a violet streak of lightning.